The key to keeping a lawn healthy during the summer is to water deeply and infrequently. Different parts of the country have stresses on their lawn. In the south it gets really hot, they need more water down there. And then your soil type plays a big part in how much water your lawn needs. A sandy soil will dry really quickly, a loamy soil holds water, and a clay actually holds the most water. All right, well what about our little croquet pitch right here? What do you recommend? My rule of thumb is one inch of water a week. You know, I've heard you say that before, but my question to you is, how do you know when one inch of water has come out of your sprinkler? You measure the water coming out, and you do that using a rain gauge. You simply set up the sprinkler, run it, and then after a half an hour, come out and check the rain gauge and see how much water is in there. And then do the math to find out how long it takes to get one inch of water. Exactly. All right, and I guess it makes sense, once you've got the initial measurement for your sprinkler, to keep this on the lawn, because you are going to get some natural rain. Right, because if you get a half an inch of rain and you measure it in here, then you know you only have to add a half an inch of water using your sprinkler. Okay, so one inch a week um, all at once? No, spread it out. I like the lawn to dry out a little bit in between watering, so twice a week, a half an inch each time. Okay, let's talk about some of the sprinklers that you brought with us. Um, why would we use one over the other? Okay, this is an oscillating or fan type. It, it goes back and forth and puts out a big rectangle of water. Gotcha. Great for a large square lawn. Okay. This one here is for a small lawn. It actually throws out a square pattern. So this will allow you to get uh, corners. If you've got a lawn with a right angle, you can get in it. That's right. And this one actually throws a circular pattern when it sprays, but it has wheels on it so you can drag it along using the hose. Makes it easy to reposition. And how about this guy right here? This is one of my favorite, Kevin. This has a spike, and you simply push it down in the ground. Now, this one has the ability, if you lift up this lever, to turn in a 360-degree pattern, or using the stops down here, you can do any angle you'd like. All right, I want to see that throw some water, but what is this you have on the edge of the hose? Okay, this is a quick connect coupling, and what it allows you to do is you screw it on each end, and then when you change sprinklers, you simply lock on like that, or if you want to put on a handheld spray, it goes into place, and you don't have to do all that twist. It's going to save you some time. All right, let's see some water fly. Okay, you ready? Yep. Now what I can do is increase the arc by moving the stop. Yeah, so you go from a nice little tight uh, angle to something a lot wider. Go it really lets you control where you throw that water. That's right. All right, so I know you're also particular about when we water. That's right. I don't want you to water at night because the lawn blades will stay wet. If they stay wet at night, there's a good chance they can get a fungus disease. All right, and I know you don't want us to water when the sun is high because we're going to get a lot of evaporation and waste water. So That's you right. recommend the morning? 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning is a great time to start your spring <laughs> going. Yeah. Listen, my lawn may be getting up at 4 a.m., but I'm not getting up at 4 a.m. Well, let me show you how we take care of that. Let me show you some timers, Kevin. The first acts just like an egg timer. We connect a water source here, and then we put the hose on this end. We simply turn it to the amount of time that we want the water to come on for. After 45 minutes, this will automatically shut off the sprinkler. That's right. But wait a second, I still have to get up early to turn it on. Well, let me help you with that. What we have here is a battery-powered timer. We're able to set this for several different functions. Number one, what day we want it to come on. Number two, how long we want it to come on. And lastly, what time we want it to come on. Monday and Friday, 20 minutes, 4 a.m., so I don't have to get up. That's right. And look, if you look down here, we even have two zones. <gasps> Kevin, let me show you one more sprinkler. This is actually one we used on a project in Texas a couple of years ago. I remember it. We had a lot of viewer interest, and they're still emailing us about this thing. Right. To install this, you dig a hole, and you permanently fix it into the ground. That's an advantage. You never have to reposition it. All right, so attach a hose. We've got water traveling through here. When this gets pressurized, it pops up and it starts spraying. And once it pops up and starts spraying, you can adjust the angle or even the amount of flow coming out. Okay. So to, to connect to it, we just pop the top off this. There's our quick connect. Yep, one in the ground already. Take it, set it down in. Fire it up. <laughs> that thing's great. Mm -hmm.